Look how far we come now. What is going on guys, welcome back today to a brand new video here on AFTV Young Guns. Of course, England play Croatia in the semi-final of the World Cup, so today I'm going to have a little talk about the lineup and how I think this game could go. Starting off with the lineup, for me, I wouldn't change anything. As simple as that. What's the point in changing a team that won us the last game? So do you know what I mean? Of course, Ingold, Pickford, then you've got Walker, Stones, Maguire, Henderson, Trippier, Lingard, Ali, Young, Sterling and Kane. That is the 11 that started the last game against Sweden. Um, of course, a lot of fans on social media have really gotten to the back of Raheem Sterling. Um, for me, I just feel like he's not done anything in the final third, and that's sort of what's getting what's getting him the stick, which is very undeserved considering the flair he's got going forward and carries England going forward a little bit. Do you know what I mean? He's one of the players who takes um, players on with a bit of like pace to his game. Um, obviously, he's not the strongest of players as we saw against Sweden, but I just feel the criticism he's been getting has been slightly unfair. Um, of course, it's understandable in the final third he should be tucking it away, the chances he's had, um, some of the chances he has missed have been absolutely embarrassing. There's a good squad, there's good options on the bench if something isn't going right. Of course tomorrow's opponent is Croatia, um, they've got some good players, let's be real, I, I just feel we have to try to stop as many balls going into the box as possible because if Mandzukic plays and he's in the box, he's going to win headers. Although Harry Maguire, arguably England's best uh, player in the tournament so far, one of them anyway, um, I'm sure will be up for that physical fight within the box, um, like winning headers and all of that. But of course they got Rakitic, um, Luka Modric, they, they will need to keep quiet because you know they've got a few players that could cause England problems. But personally, I feel like we're actually going to win this game 3-1. Um, of course, the other semi-final is France versus Belgium and that's tonight. Personally, I feel like it's going to be France who, um, who get through just because they've got a really, really good squad. But then again, on an international level, that squad of players don't really have much experience within winning like you know big trophies uh, on the international stage of course France bottled it against Portugal in the Euros back in 2016 so I feel say if we were to play a team like France in the final is who cracks less under the pressure on the day so it really is anyone's tournament to be won but that is where I'm going to leave that video drop a like subscribe if you are new of course tomorrow it's a massive game it's one step closer to bringing football home if we do get the win which I'm sure we will but as always if you could subscribe to my channel there will be a link to um, I'm so I'm ah I'm actually so tired, like, I can't even speak English right now. I'm literally falling asleep, it's like half six. I've not really slept last night, so I'm gonna edit this video and go to bed. Goodbye.